Hey guys, Nikolai here. Before we take a look at what spending over $3,000 in League of Legends gets you, among other related subjects, I first gotta let you know that this video is sponsored by ProGuides. ProGuides.com is the best proven way to improve your rank. With exclusive pro courses, brand new video guides every day, and more. ProGuides also has a fantastic coaching feature that allows you to play and get coached by professional players. Start improving your rank today by signing up on ProGuides with the first link in the description. Now with that being said, let's jump into the video. Since the official release of League of Legends, Riot's primary way of earning revenue off their free-to-play game is with the sale of skins. Skins are completely cosmetic items that have absolutely no effect on your gameplay, meaning that you can play the game entirely without spending a single dollar. Despite that fact, League of Legends still generates literally billions of dollars per year. Because although there are players who will never spend money on the game, there are players who will eventually see a skin that they absolutely love, and they'll cave in and give Riot some of their hard-earned money. But above all, there are players who are referred to as whales. A whale is a player who spends way above what the average player would spend, oftentimes buying and collecting every available item. Whales generally spend thousands if not tens of thousands of dollars on microtransactions. Games with gacha elements where you can for example buy packs or mystery boxes are games that most attract whales with stories of players spending genuine fortunes on these kinds of games. Thank you very much. <gasps> Ooh, an ultra rare JPEG, a thousand dollars well spent. Now, recently I saw a post on the League of Legends subreddit titled, I got to the end of the store. Now what do I do? This post contained a YouTube video by the user Think This who had just recently finished obtaining every single obtainable skin in the game. This legend says they spent an estimate of $3,500 on League of Legends. But before we get into the nitty gritty details, what's really interesting about this video is that he shows what happens when you own every skin. Something that many of us will not experience. I hope. If you play League, you probably know what Hextech Gems are. These are very rare items that have a slight chance of dropping after you open a chest. Collect 10 of these gems and you can exchange them for some of the most prestigious skins in the game. However, there is also a very small chance that you can get a Hextech skin by re-rolling 3 skin shards. Now, since this guy literally owns every skin in the game, when he rerolls three skin shards, the game has no choice but to give him one of these skins, seeing as there are no other skins that he doesn't own. So funny story, these gemstones are worthless, even though in the beginning, I, you know, people estimated they were worth like $20 each, because that's kind of how much you had to spend to get one gemstone. So one of these 10 gemstone skins was like, it, you basically had to spend $200 in rad points uh, to get one. But since I own all the skins, as you can see here, there's only the Championship Rise skin that I don't own that just barely came out. When you go, it used to, you know, give me whatever was left. So I'm gonna reroll this into a random uh, skin. I never once got a reroll into a Mythic. Uh, so there's Hextech Renekton. But every single skin reroll is these like, what I used to, in my mind, view is like, you know, really hard to get. You know, I have to use my mythic stones wisely. And now, ironically, I have 30 mythic stones that are actually kind of pointless. Now, this is where most people bring up some questions, specifically how and why. And well, the how is quite simple. As we already spoke about, this user spent an estimate of $3,500. But without any chest, missions, etc., this would be closer to an almost $5,000 value. And for those wondering how he's able to afford this, some users left this question on the Reddit thread as well, and basically he's had a well-paying job. And? By the way, for a more specific answer to how someone spent $3,500 on League of Legends skins, this player has played the game for nearly 10 years now, essentially, breaking up his spending to only $30 per month. Then, in terms of the question, why, well, why not? 
Of course, everyone has their own opinions on these kinds of situations, but my general line of thinking is that if you have the disposable income, do whatever you want. If you are able to pay $3,000 for a video game over the course of years and still fulfill all your responsibilities, then go for it. Especially if doing so makes you happy. It's just kind of hilarious how much money I've wasted on this game. And also, it is kind of good, I guess, in a way that I'm still enjoying it. I still play it. But, um, yeah, this is just... I just had to show you because there's literally no one else on the planet Earth who would appreciate what I'm doing right now. Well, now I kind of want to save these shards. I thought I would run out by now. Let's see. Owned, 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 owned. There's none left. Okay. All right. So now let's see what happens. There's no more prestige skins. All right. Here we go. I'm completely. There's. There should be no more skins left for me to get. Reroll. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay, never do that again because I just wasted a skin. But it was a good experiment. It gave me a skin permanent for a skin I already own. So that's it. I own every single skin that you can possibly own. Now, here's what may sound like a silly question, but here I go. Where does the money you spend on skins go? Of course, this is a very simple answer. It goes to funding Riot Games. However, the answer is not so simple when it comes to the yearly skins awarded to the team who won the League of Legends World Championship. Because in 2016, Riot Games released positive changes to how professional players would get paid. Allegedly, 25% of the revenue that these skins generate gets split between the team who the skins belong to, the league of that team, and most of all, the player representing that skin. I cannot confirm that the splits are equal, but to get a little bit of perspective to how much players can make with these skins, take a look at this clip of ex-pro player and currently popular streamer Skara talking about exactly this topic. Oh, oh, but the world skins? If you are a world, it doesn't matter. The, the prize you get for winning worlds does not matter. The, the cash prize, mm -hmm. if you get a skin in game, the yearly check is insane. Yeah. Um, Faker has three skins. I, 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 oh, oh my Does he make God, three times yeah. the money then? I, I, was, I can't even imagine. Riot gives you like a yearly check. And I think one of the Chinese streamers leaked how much it was. And it was like well into the six figures or something. Wow. Well, especially for the Chinese team that won the first world championship oh, yeah. in oh, China. Yeah. Like They're, they probably are going to make... Their skins aren't out yet, right? No, but that that's an easily like a multi-million dollar skin line. Each individual player will make hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's crazy. Now, to wrap up the video, I should mention that our boy Think This is not the first person to buy all skins in League of Legends. Many have done that before, but his video with the Hextech skins was very interesting. Although moving on, you may or may not already know this, but some people actually buy and sell League of Legends accounts. This is actually against Riot Games' terms of service, but it seems like a gray area in terms of getting caught and punished. Regardless of that, what I'm going to show you now are sold listings on eBay of accounts that contain all skins. And this account is the most accurate listing I could find. This account contains all champions and over 900 skins. On June 20th, 2019, this account sold for the price of $1,500. So basically, if you buy all the skins in the game, and you one day decide to stop playing, in the end, you can potentially get half your money back. Of course that is if you can find a buyer. I'm sure there aren't many people in the market of buying 900 League of Legends skins all at once. You know, odds are, if you're watching this video, there's a chance you've never subscribed to me. You see my videos in the recommended section from time to time, and even after watching multiple videos of mine, you've never really subscribed. Maybe I never properly asked you. So I guess I'll use this as an opportunity. If you're watching this right now, I want you to know that I value and appreciate you. So here it goes. To the wonderful viewer currently watching, would you be so kind to please Subscribe to my channel. If you do, it means a lot to me. Thank you. And I hope to see you again next week.